I'm Bruce Miller. And I would like to ask uh, a few questions. My question is, um, even, for example, uh, like if kids, in some other places, the, the, the punishment for apostasy is death. And some other cases, they will, they will uh, send, send the apostate to the counseling for three years and be jailed, for example. So, is, is that true that whether according to Hadith or Quran, whether that, um, whether the punishment for apostasy must be death?
Quran chapter 3 verse number 19 in the deen in the al islam the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam people tell me that why does Saudi Arabia allow anyone else to propagate the religion I tell them Saudi Arabia calls many foreigners they have about 8 million foreigners they call the best leaders for science and technology for many science doctors engineers but where the religion is concerned they know that their thing is correct. For example, if you are a principal of a school and you want to appoint a match teacher, the first teacher says 2 plus 2 is equal to 3, second teacher says 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, the third teacher says 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. I am asking the question, which teacher will you appoint? Which teacher will you appoint? The first, second or third? Which teacher will you appoint? The teacher that says 2 plus 2 is equal to 3, or 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, or 2 plus 2 is equal to 5? Why not the one says 2 plus 2 is 3? Okay, um, yeah, why? It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. And you're confident 2 plus 2 is 4, not 3 or 5, correct? The same thing with Muslims are confident. The only religion that is correct from Almighty God is Islam. Then he listens to him, 